welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway and on the hill today Max Meyer and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure he's more calm and settles in he's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position most guys they get a little tight they start to aim the baseball but for some reason. He gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Just misses. Now two and two. It's a good take. And another ball. The wind to kick the pitch. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Fights it off, he'll see another. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. In the air, right field wall. As this one sized up, brings it in, and that is that. On to the bottom of the first. No score. here with my pal Siggy and getting the start for Cincinnati Nick Lodolo Chris it's a little more common these days but still he's a strikeout per inning type of guy well I hear you about the strikeouts a lot more guys striking out today but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout particularly when you needed a man on third less than two out situations where yeah maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot I think it's real critical and he's got it and the pitch. That That's one missed. Bunting, and it's in the air. Lodolo makes the grab one away. And time now for the Marlins lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out That's what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. On the ground. On the run. Sends it over to first. Two up, two down. Batting third. The designated hitter. Jesus Sanchez. Now at the plate. And here it comes. And another ball. Hey. 
Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And one, two, three, go to Marlins. We played an inning, no score. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Now here is TJ Friedel. TJ Friedel. Yeah, the right-hander deals. That's out to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. And another ball. One out, base is empty. Wouldn't nope. chase that time. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Now it's three and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. And there's two away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Now batting Jamer Candelario. Next nope. offering Up upstairs. Two out spaces empty. That misses the zone. Ball three. That one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two outs. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. No score here in the second. Goes down looking. Reds go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the second. And now for the Marlins, Jonah Bride. And now the lefty just missed. And a swing and a miss there. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. On the ground to the left. Candelario on the first. One up, one down. That is good. Now the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. And that's ball four. Ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Runner on at first with one gone. Otto Lopez. The next up for the Marlins. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now, most hitters handle mid-90s no problem these days, but when a pitcher is effective at mixing up his pitches, changing speeds, adding and subtracting velocity, you can see a pitch of that velocity just jump past a hitter swing. And yeah, the batter now, Nate Gordon. him swinging one left for Miami will move to the third with no score out of the third inning now it's the right fielder Jake Fraley 
Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Santiago Espinal, the next to hit for the Reds. Right-hander kicks deals. Way out front for strike two. <laughs> One down, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The pitch. In the air, right side. He's got it. Out number two. Here's the center fielder, Will Benson. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have... Now oh, that's strike three and the third out, so we take a break. And one, two, three, go the Reds. And we are still scoreless. Set for the bottom of the third, here's a speed threat, Forrest Wall. The line of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Steer sizes this one up. And a quick out number one. Batting up. The catcher. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. And that's outside. Two and one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Two strikes. And now two and two. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. So digging in, Xavier Edwards. Next offering in there for a strike. One now ball, one and two. Two strikes. Two down, nobody on. And a ground ball to first. He takes oh. it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Marlins, and we're still knotted at zero. New inning getting started, and now the first baseman, the first Jonathan, baseman India. Jonathan India. Jonathan India. Next offering down. is down low. Into center. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And there's one away. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. You know, one of the most memorable innings ever for Ellie happened in July 2023. In one inning, De La Cruz hit a two-out single to take the lead and then proceeded to do something that a Reds player hasn't done in more than 100 years. He stole second, third, and home in the same inning. It only took two pitches for him to steal all three bases. Now at the plate, Spencer Steer. 
The wind and the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Here comes the pitch. Hit in the air, left field. And makes the grab. And that is that. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Four. Now the number two hitter, Jake Berger. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And he deals. And another ball. You know, these Marlins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. So now here's the DH. Jesus Sanchez, the pitch. That's a ball. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. The pitch. That no, one misses. And now three balls and a strike. Jonah Bride waits on deck for Miami. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. Three balls, two strikes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. Jonah Bry, the next up for the Marlins. Next offering in there for a strike. Going to count one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. Steer going back on this one. Gone! They must be going crazy in the dugout. His second of the year, and that's how they take the lead. It's 3-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and laugh to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Next to hit, Kyle Stowers. Just oh, missed. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The wind of the pitch. The other way. And there's a hit. Now back. Second baseman. So man aboard. Now it's the second baseman, Otto Lopez. Outside, and that is ball four. Now a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now the center fielder, Nick Gordon. Fly ball down the line, on the move. Steer puts it away. Now back, right Jr. for it. Wall. Forrest Wall, the next up for the Marlins. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. 
right through there for a strike. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Left-hand batter waits. Oh, that one a 95 missed up top. Two balls, two strikes. Out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and they don't get the out. Well, I can understand the defense right there trying to cut off that lead runner in third, but a good jump and an excellent finish for the base runner to get in there safely. And now the catcher comes up to him. Nick Fortes. The 2-1. Line to left. That's a base hit, run scores. Back-to-back -back singles, nice line drive to the pole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And here comes David Bell as he's ready to make the change. Go to his bullpen. Nick Lodolo will depart, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Tony Santion gets the call from the pen. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And up next for Miami, Xavier Edwards. Two on, one out. The oh, shortstop the takes a ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And strike two. Wall, the lead runner out at second. Fortes at first, one gone. Three. Got him. And there are two outs. Man, he got a real good pitch to hit right there with two strikes. You cannot miss that. Not a great slider at all. And I tell you what, that's where you've got to do damage. He looked like he was on time getting the bat through the zone, but he just caught air. Kicks and deals. Not even close there. And a count two and one. Two on, two outs. And it's fouled away. Looks like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And down on strikes he goes. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around at five score. We played four. Marlins five, and the Reds nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, T.J. Friedel. And he drops it down the third baseline. Boots it. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Maybe a little small ball is exactly what the doctor ordered to rev up this offense. And they've been pretty quiet all game. So maybe this wakes them up a bit and helps them get on the board.
Man at first, Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Righty delivers. That's and the slider two. just misses. Well, these Reds just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. pitch is outside well I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed I mean it could have gone either way but he looked a little shocked for a second there line to right and that'll be a base hit throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. At the play, Jamer Candelario. One ball, two strikes. Flares it into the outfield. Hauls it in for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Two on with one out. And now here is Jake Fraley. Two on, one out, and that's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. That's Missed with a changeup. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And the righty deals. Rolled the short, possible two ball. The underhand flip, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. The fish leading by five. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. That's a base hit. Run scores. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed him. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. So first and second with two outs. Here's the center fielder, Will Benson. Here's a 1-1. And a foul ball. Two outs. And he chases that one. Good job at damage control right there. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 5-1. Back here in Miami, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Kicks and fires. Ball. And there's a ball. You know, these Marlins really right. impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. On the ground to third. Candelario on the first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now batting. First baseman. Jonah. Jonah Bride. The next up for the Marlins. The 
pitch. Upstairs. upstairs. In there at the knees for a strike. Helpful. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. And they'll do it again. Right-handed reliever, and that's nope, too high, that's ball, four. ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. They just keep handing out gifts, no boo. Were we supposed to bring something? Singy, I think just our presence is the present. And strike right there. Righty to the plate. That one ripped. Benson snags it. And now for the Marlins, Otto Lopez. Right, off the of first with two away. Next offering in there for a strike. And a count one and two. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll touch them all. His fourth home run of the season. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-1. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And now the center fielder, Nick Gordon. Swings through that one for strike two. Two strikes. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. He's got it, and that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's 7-1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Jonathan India at the plate. Ball to strike. The pitch. That clips the corner. Action in the pen down there. Declan Cronin appears to be getting loose. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. The shortstop takes the ball. Rudder at first with no outs here. Two two now. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Wall drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. The left view, number seven. Spencer Steer. Man at first. Here's the left fielder, Spencer Steer. The Marlins up big in this one. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Out towards right center field, under it. Snags it for the second out. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Now it's the Reds' now DH, T.J. Friedel. T.J. Friedel. Hang and a miss. One and two. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two outs. Ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One hit, one left. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Marlins seven and the Reds one. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Bottom of the sixth inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Forrest Wall. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Come on and miss. Struck him out. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Here's the catcher, the catcher Nick Fortes. Nick Fortes. One down, base is empty. Three. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Back to the top now of the man. Miami order. Not Xavier shortstop. Edwards, the next up for the Marlins. That one lifted to left, Steer in position, nabs it, and that will end the inning. New pitcher for the Marlins, Declan Cronin. He last pitched two days now ago. For the Number 51, Declan Cronin. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson. 
That's in there. One and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. One ball. He's a bullpen right. arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking his own and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Perfect example right there. A hitter who hits the ball on the outside part of the plate the other way has to trust his hands and let the ball travel a little bit deeper. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. 1-1 one, one now. And that one missing low. And the pitch. Line drive, and there's a hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And the throws offline, safe at third. The batter. The second base. A lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. One down. In now for the Reds, Santiago Espinal. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two on, one out. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Now that here's the center fielder, Will Benson. Benson. Two on, two outs. And he swings through that one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Stays alive. And the right hander deals. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And here it comes. Chop to first. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. Red strand a couple. They're down seven to one. And we're back. Now the third baseman, Jake Berger. And a pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Up next to the Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Now, Jesus Sanchez. Two ball. One strike. In the dirt, no advance. Good job behind the dish. Two two now. Just misses with that one. Okay. 
gets a piece and stays alive. Nobody out. Runner at first. Outside and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. The new pitcher in the game Nick Martinez. Well he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Jonah Bry, the next up for the Marlins. The two on is high. And a foul ball. Payoff pitch. Set down on strikes. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Now the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. And another ball. The pitch wouldn't oh, chase that, that time. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Fernando Cruz loosening up for manager David Bell. Mole, a left-hander, also throwing. The three-one. That's too ball. high, and it's ball four. Three, three. Another walk. Now back. Second base. One out, base is loaded. Now it's the second baseman, Otto Lopez. Berger, the runner at third, Sanchez. At second, Stowers. Over at first, so one away. Fouled off, he was late. Here comes a pitch. On the ground at first. Base hit. One run in already. Fires it to the plate. In there safely. And it's an eight-run lead. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. First and second, one out. And now the center fielder, Nick Gordon. And he deals. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Now back. The right So first and second with two outs. Forrest Wall, the next up for the Marlins. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. Two, two runs across in the inning. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Got it by him for the K. They put two on the board on two base hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Marlins nine and the Reds one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to begin the, the eighth. Baseman. And here's the first baseman, Jonathan India. India. The 1-1. One, one. This one in the air right field. Wall sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Up next in Cincinnati, the shortstop. So up next, Ellie De La Cruz.
Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Spencer Steer, the next to hit for the Reds. Two down, nobody on. Just missed. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that extends the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So two down. So now here's the Reds' cleanup hitter. T.J. Friedel in the dirt. To second, but way too late. Safe there. And now a man into scoring position. Right through there for a strike. Runner at second, two down. And we're in the top of the eighth. Hit on the ground to the right side. And foul ball. And another ball. He caught it behind his back. Over to first. Nicely done for the out. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there and it stuck. That was pretty cool. Bottom of the eighth. Lead and here's the catcher, the Nick Fortes. The catcher, Nick Fortes. One, two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and fires. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, Xavier Edwards. The fish up big in this one here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Inside gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now batter. Two outs, base, base is empty. And up next for Miami, Jake Berger. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. Two outs. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here in Miami, and the batter now, Tyler Stevenson. Tyler.
Stevenson. The pitch. Late hey. that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Next two offering ball, way upstairs. Strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. And a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all over that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. And now, Jamer Candelario. Right-hander kicks deals. And now it's three and two. The Reds with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the night. Struck him out looking. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. Jake Fraley. The 1-1. One, one. And that skips into there. Stevenson over at first with one away. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And the count's even at two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The Reds now down to their final out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Ground ball, and this should do it. White Pro pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Well, fortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. Now it's going to be Will Benson. This could end it. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 9-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long 